Hi, I hope you're having a great day. My name is Will Marbury, and today I'm gonna to be briefly taking you through all the demos we'll be showcasing at Pack Expo 2022. Here we have our Mini Geo, demonstrating adaptive manufacturing capability with a single controller running the entire process. A big edge that we display here and across all of our products is the ability to adapt a single controller to just about any equipment. In this case, we can control an ABB IRB 1200 robot, the active cross track, VNR vision, and an external servo axis drive. This system runs a continuous demo of three functions, high speed, product identification, and automated changeover. The high speed is especially obvious on the track, especially highlighted on this diverted side from the robot, with speeds up to two meters per second, all in sync with this star wheel on an external servo motor. As the shuttles move by, these three BNR vision cameras can identify the shuttle ID, what shuttles are available in the garage, and even what type of product is being carried by each shuttle for high speed custom package requests. Another point to note, is the changeover of tooling on the robot that displays the ability to pick up and move products or change out shuttles. These features can be useful for automated changeover and maintenance during runtime, so the customer avoids time-wasting tasks like shutting down the system to remove just one defective product. The three HMIs all run a similar visualization allowing the user to upload custom commands, see OEM statistics, and view states of the machine, among other things. Next we have our tabletop AccuPost 6D, demonstrating all the finer details of 6D up close. This is the best demo for showing all six degrees of freedom and endless possibilities and uses for a track that is the only one of its class. This demo only has two segments, but it is easy to see just how simple and scalable the architecture is just by daisy chaining together square segments in whatever orientation needed. The demo will move shuttles around with small containers of liquid and a continuous cycle of movements highlighting 60's capability to move and tilt in all six different directions, prevent sloshing and automatically level material in a shuttle-borne container. Some general points of emphasis here are contact-free product support, optimized workspace with multiple parallel processing, virtual linking of shuttles creating a convoy, different size shuttles, and relative movements. Moving on to our newest joint demo with ABB, here we have our adaptive manufacturing dice demo. This system displays, once again, our ability to integrate vision, Acupos track, Acupos 6D, integrated safety, and an AR ABB IRB 360 flex picker into the same controller. But specifically, it shows our ability to work in synchronization to create mixed packages. The HMI here with MAP technology is used to place an order which is then pulled from the product buffer on the 6D portion here and added to the Acupos track side. Each shuttle holds four dice. The BNR smart camera inspects the shuttle to collect orientation, color, type, number, and position of each die after being randomized by 6D here with this shaking motion. The order is then verified by BNR Vision on the Acupost track, placed back on the 6D by the flex picker, randomized and stored in the buffer, ready for the whole build process to start again, all with zero downtime changeover. This demo presents our readiness to adapt to a future of unknown products with high productivity on a profitable small batch production method. Next, we have our ability to fully integrate robotics control showcased by a Codian D4500 with a BNR cabinet. By using one controller, we eliminate the need to mess with a dedicated communication protocol for the robotics. This avoids delays and handshakes while creating many opportunities when combined with track and 6D. The demo exhibits BNR's Acupos P3 motors using a single cable solution, power panel C80, and safety. The robotics here offer a simple solution to build exactly what you need while not overpaying for features that you don't need. Some of our core technologies are best showcased on our two wall demos, running two displays each with MAP technology. Using a single system with Automation Studio and Automation Runtime, we can scale the architecture of T-Panels, Compact Desk CPUs, and Panel PCs with ease. This first wall dashboard shows the HMIs of other demos, including the Mini Geo, the Dice Demo, and the Codian, as well as the Scene Viewer Digital Twin of what the other demos are doing live. Some important things to note are that this demo is running BNR hypervisor and communication via OPC UA pub sub from the Compact S CPU to the PPC 910, and the Portrait C80 is a MapView remote terminal over standard Ethernet. The three button keyrings here can be used to toggle the motion of the Codian, show safety, and present the Codian demo in CViewer. Moving over to the second wall demo, the story of the T50 panel is that we can accommodate a wide variety of HMI development methods and personal backgrounds, like web developers via a partner solution or automation engineers via MapView. Using tools like ready-made widgets, visual editing, and the Map framework, you can develop your HMI from scratch with ease, avoiding reinventing the wheel every time just for common applications. 
Running on the new X20 EM CPU, this demo packs powerful performance in an all-in-one package. The demo functionality presents secure, automatic code deployment over the air for lifecycle management, all on a runtime modular machine. This way, an engineer or developer in the field can rapidly build and deploy Automation Studio projects onto PLCs when a change in the source code occurs. Current versions of the software running on the PLC is shown on the panel and will notify the user when a new update is available via a pop-up in the visualization and one of the LED rings will start blinking here on the button rings. Alternatively, the second demo's T80 has a digital twin of the ABB IRB1200 in motion using our partner's technology through a web viewer widget and map view. Here you can see the joint positions of the robot coming directly over the web from the physical robot just on the other side of the booth. This demo also includes integrated map safety and map framework as well, demonstrating map sequence, code box, and I.O. with other features.